This is a classic drill. It's called around the horn. We just changed things up a little bit and include a baseline fan out situation whereby the defensive players are all lined up on the baseline with um, the ball in either corner. We will sw switch these over after a full set. A full set is how the ball gets around and back again. That would be considered a full set. To start this off though, we have each of our defensive players call out the pass to the next person in the line. One would call two, pass the ball, two would call three, pass the ball away down the line until it gets to five at the other end. And then it gets inbounded to that closest player here. After a player passes, they are closing out on the furthest offensive player from them. So one would be closing out on one, two, on two, three, four, four, five, five. What we do is run a full set of around the horn and back again, uh, which would which would be a successful set at that point, and then rotate each player. So one would then come to position uh, two here, five would come back over to one or down the line. Same thing here, one come up here, two, five would come back around here. So everybody's rotating, everybody's rotating here. The reason we're doing that is because we're gonna run this thing again and then each player is coming at someone else uh, to do this drill. This is a really aggressive drill. What we're trying to do here is build strength, core strength, physical contact. It's all about positioning and uh, speed conditioning too. We're trying to use our bodies. This is a contact sport, basketball is, so uh, we've got to incorporate some physicality here to the highest degree. We want to use practices as the most extreme example of what we may find in a game so that in a game nothing is surprising. So um, lots of aggressive contact. Both de defense and offensive players uh, you want to get really low, get big, get your wings out, get your uh, get your get your arms out, get uh, get aggressive and into into your players uh, space so to speak. Um, <clears throat> a big part of this too is defensive communication. And once these defensive players get on uh, get on their guards, we need to be calling out ball. Everybody's got to be calling out if the ball's moving, because eyes are one of our greatest senses, but hearing is as well as and and communication is key, so that players can concentrate on who they're guarding without having to look where the ball is. They know where the ball is because they're listening to where it is, and this is just basic stuff. If the offensive players are caught not not call, doing callouts, calling ball, calling denies, um, switches, screens left and rights as we get into the other options here, the defensive coach whistle right away, and the defense got to run, touch center line and back, get to uh, baseline and touch again to restart the play. They don't do that in five seconds. The whole team, everybody, offense, defense, do three push-ups, start again. Okay. Um, this is critical. We, we want to communicate and we, we want this to be a very physical, physical drill, uh, getting people working hard. Okay, so all players in this instance, as the base as the base foundation of this drill is, all these offensive players stay where they are here because these players close out and then you're just fighting for position to get the ball around. There's no dribbles uh, in this drill. It's just getting position in order to receive a pass. Offensive players do not call for a pass until you are for certain and open. Um, what I'll do here is just show an example of what this means just so the physicality is seen and what we're trying to look for. So in this instance, um, ball's going to get inbounded here. This is by the coach. So this is something we don't do. We actually come in from the, from the defense off the baseline inbounding. And then we're just working around the horn here. See how physical they are? That's what we want to be. We want to be pushing, rubbing, really getting position here. That's what this drill is all about, communicating. So you got to call for the ball when you're available for it. If not, don't call for the ball. All right, everybody's working hard. At this point, it's coming around to end the horn. And that would be the end of that play. That's set. Okay, so we do that one again. And then... And then rotating players, of course, as I say. And then we can also flip the ball to the other side and we come across, back across down this, this other way as well. Um, some other options we do too are, for example, we come down here and put it in. And then maybe after three passes, only three passes, it's live ball, live dribble. Um, so then we're working with setting screens, calling 
calling switches, calling screens left, calling screen left rights, um, all those things. That's another basic option. Another option we do too is maybe it comes around the horn all the way back again, and then it's a live dribble once again. But um, defense cannot use their hands, hands behind the back. They got to move their feet. So this is an offensive oriented drill where the players are looking to attack as quickly as possible. Another option we do too is a double team. So as soon as the ball comes in, we want the defensive players to actually communicate and engage a double team wherever the ball is. In that instance, if for example, um, two is, is being double teamed, um, four's player here guarding would have to rotate around on the three to make to take this pass away we wouldn't be worried about five in this instance okay so here we go this is what the play looks like one's going to pass to one uh, one's going to pass it down the line here calling out and then um and and then they're closing out on their their respective player that's the furthest distance away so one would call two pass it and then close out on one two to three two close out on two three to four all the way down the line Gets everybody moving and um, visualizing what has to happen here. This is a great drill for, as I say, movement and conditioning. So uh, with that said, it's all about strength and core conditioning for the most part and community.